Hey peoples, today I'm wanting to bring you my Angel Feather deck profile from Breaker of Limits for Collector's Glory. Obviously you can't just buy a trial deck for Angel Feather, so I figured I might as well make this deck profile. From my playtesting, I think it's pretty much solved <laughs> for like what came out at the time. I know that sounds like a lot, but this deck can go against the freaking... Aichi Legend deck, whoever it is. Oh yeah, that's right, it's in the uh, deck box that I'm using to hold my phone up. Nice. Alright, so for our starter, we're gonna run one Thermometer Angel, because it's like, I think the only starter that was in the set. Um, excluding the rare, that sucks. So, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do that there. Next we want run four Circular Saw Curial. Her effect is pretty good. Limit break 4 when this team attacks plus 5k. It's pretty average, but eh. And then auto counter plus 1 when this team is placed on ban. You may pay the cost if you do choose to face up Angel Feather from your damage zone. Call it to rear and put the top card of your deck face down into your damage zone. She's twin drive and like, I don't love the effect, but it's still pretty good. Alright, next we're gonna run a kinda jokey finisher, uh, Feather Palace. The original one, of course, and it's the beginning of your main phase, soul charge one, and get pl plus 2k until end of turn. Then auto, um, soul blast eight, and counter blast five when the student's attack hits a vanguard. You can pay the cost if you choose a card in your damage zone for each of your angel feather rear guards and heal them. It's fun because it can essentially reset you. I've never pulled it off, though, out of the, like, 15 games that I've played in the last couple days. Alright, next we're going to run 4 Love Machine Gun No Seal, because what she does is, when placed on rear, um, choose an, any card in your damage zone, um, put it in your hand, but the cost before you do that is put a card in your hand into damage, and from what I understand, when you put a trigger in, like face up, it's going to activate the effect, and that's what you use her for, which is very valuable. You do not want to ride her. Next, I run for Core Memory Armoros. You just use her as a ride target. I i don't think ever used the skill. Because it's a little too expensive for my taste. Yet, I bought a case of this set. So. Okay, I'm kidding. It was only like... Two... F nah, not even like 200 do. And 16 boxes, which is a lot. When a card's put in your damage zone, if you have an Angel Feather Vanguard, this unit gets plus 2k until a turn... 3 million ray pegasus. Um, I couldn't figure out another grade 2 to put in the deck. Same with why 1000 rays in here. Um, I mean, it's good, but you have to like pay attention really hard on what cards you use for the, um, or um, how many times you put a card into your damage zone per effect. Alright, on to grade 1s. You run 4 Battle Cupid No CL. You do not want her as a red target. Same effect as Love Machine Gun No CL, except when put into Guardian Circle. Which is good, but, uh, yeah. It, it's, it's free stuff, essentially. Now you're gonna run, um, or now I run two Clutch Rifle Angels. Here, I'll just show you my text. Um, yeah. God. There was a notification on my phone. Um, Two Clutch Rifle Angel, plus 4k if you have the same damage. Like, plus 4k to a boosted unit if you have the um, same or um, more damage than your opponent. 2,000 Ray Pegasus, same effect as Million Ray. And two Lightning Charger for the effect with Curial. I don't really like using her, but yeah. Alright, uh, next you run four of the PG, Pure Keeper Rec Wheel. It's PG. They're really good back when Breaker of Limits came out, and so I went based on that logic and put her in the deck, because I got a ton of her. Alright, onto the grade zeros. Four critical hit angel. It's an effect crit. You won't run it. Four happy belt. No CL. It's um, put into the soul if you, if you have an angel feather vanguard, but that doesn't matter because you're always going to have one. Um, put into soul choose an angel feather in your damage zone, put it in your hand, and, or 
choose a card in your damage zone and put it in your hand after uh, putting a card from your hand into damage. So you want her. Four draws, because I didn't really want to run. Um, extra crits or extra stands. And then four of this effect heal, which I find to be really useful. Because it's uh, plus 6k to the unit in front of it, and then you get to recycle heals. So you don't really want this in your damage. Or uh, in your drop, I mean. Because I don't think this deck can go into the drop zone. So yeah, hope you enjoyed my deck profile. Here, I'll give you an overhead view of the deck. Uh, I think that's going to show all of it, but yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Also, the, um, the other two deck profiles, Narakami and Gold Paladin, um, aren't going to be done yet. Because, um, honestly, I don't really like the Narakami deck, and golds continuously lose. It's kind of sad. I might build Grand Blue. I have the uh, four Kokaitis, so. Yeah, I might build Grand Blue. Alright, thanks for watching.